Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel and today we will discuss inquest. An inquest is a legal inquiry or investigation to ascertain the circumstances and cause of death. It is conducted in a sudden suspicious or unnatural death. So if there is any sudden or suspicious or unnatural death then the inquest is carried out these are of four types so inquest is of four types depending upon who does it so if police is doing the inquest or investigation then it is known as police inquest this can be magistrate inquest or magistrate investigation or inquest this can also be coroner inquest or medical examiners inquest only these two types of inquests are done in India and these are not done in India. So we will discuss only these two types of inquest. Police inquest and magistrate inquest. Now what are coroner inquest and medical examiner inquest? Actually coroner inquest was present in India but it has been abolished in 1999 it was present in Mumbai before that medical examiner's inquest is most superior type of inquest but it is not done in India it is present in UK and USA it is not present in India but this is the most superior type of inquest so we will do these two first is police inquest so police inquest police inquest is held under section 174 of CRPC 174 of CRPC section 174 of CRPC it is conducted under section 174 of CRPC and it is conducted by a police officer not below the rank of sub inspector so SI do it and not below that rank usually but SI can appoint head constable as I can appoint head constable and not below that rank do the police inquest and the police officer who is doing the inquest or investigation is known as investigation officer investigation officer or in short form IO so whenever the case of this unnatural or suspicion suspicious death comes of any person to an investigation officer or police officer then the investigation officer forwards the information to the nearest magistrate so here is our magistrate and the case comes to the investigation officer he will first forward the information to the magistrate and will move to the site where the body or you can say dead body is lying he will move to that place and after that he will do the investigation at that place in presence of some two to three responsible 
person like uh, for example sarpanch or panchas so he will invest he will do that investigation there in presence of these two to three persons which are the responsible persons of that area and he will make an investigation report which is known as panchnam so he will prepare an investigation to report which is known as panchnam what is it called panchnama he will prepare an investigation report which is known as panchnama after he prepares this uh, investigation report so this is our investigation report he prepares that investigation report after he prepare that investigation report the investigation officer and the panchas or the sarpanch will sign that report so sign of the panch and the investigation officer will be there and after this is done then the investigation officer will send this dead body to the nearest government hospital for what for post mortem and he will also send a copy of panchnama so he will send the dead body what he will send first is dead body second is requisition letter what is requisition requisition means an legal order or legal uh, request for a written request for going post mortem post mortem request letter and third what he will send he will send a copy of panchnama all these things he will send to the nearest government hospital dead body requisition and copy of panchnama after this the you know he will the doctor will do the post mortem and he will give the post mortem examination report and the dead body back to the investigation officer or the family members whatever and the uh, one thing is that what this panchnama or the investigation report contain so this will contain the information about what about scene of crime injuries found on body and the what is the apparent cause of death like if person is found hanging with a rope then the cause may be suicidal hanging etc and the injuries may be the abrasion pressure abrasion on the neck and the scene of crime about description about the scene of crime like what were the things found in the room or around the victim who was hanging etc after talking about this police inquest now we should talk about the magistrate inquest which is the second type of investigation or inquest done in india it is done by a magistrate it can be done by both judicial magistrate 
और एग्जीक्यूट इमेज हिस्ट्री वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन दीज टू जुडिशल मजिस्ट्रेट एंड एग्जीक्यूटिव मजिस्ट्रेट वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन दीज टू जुडिशियल मजिस्ट्रेट वर्क अंडर इट इज ऑफिसर अंडर हाई कोर्ट एंड इट वर्क अंडर एग्जीक्यूटिव मजिस्ट्रेट वर्क अंडर स्टेट गवर्नमेंट so judicial magistrate is officer in the high court and executive magistrate is officer in the state government magistrate in trust is also mm, one information about this is 176 crpc it is conducted in the, under the section 176 of crpc and now another information that मजिस्ट्रेट इंक्वेस्ट इज सुपीरियर देन पुलिस इंक्वेस्ट एंड वॉट आर द केसेज इन विच द मजिस्ट्रेट इंक्वेस्ट विल बी डन दीज आर डावरी डेथ exhumation requirement that means in whatever case if exhumation is required what is exhumation exhumation is we know that uh, people after death people died and they are buried buried in land and if there is any requirement to dig it and um, take their body out again in any case then that is known as exhumation if they are dig out again if they need to be dig out again then it is known as exhumation so the first is dowry death second is exhumation requirement and third is in mental hospital if any death occurs and these types of cases are also under the magistrate and these types of cases are taken by executive magistrate so after taking this now let us discuss about the judicial magistrate that what are the cases which are taken by the judicial magistrate so the judicial magistrate takes the cases in which the police is involved like death in police custody death in jail prison death by police firing so these are the cases which are taken by judicial magistrate it is very simple that if we are tortured by any criminal then we go to police and what if we are tortured by police only then we will go for a court case or to the court or judiciary so in these types of deaths where police is only involved then the judicial magistrate will be the investigating officer or investigating official other cases in which magistrate can be involved so magistrate can also be involved or magistrate can do the investigation in cases where police investigation has already taken place but the magistrate is not satisfied and he can do the investigation again or the normal cases where the police investigation was to be done then also the magistrate can take the case by himself 
then also the magistrate investigation can be done. So he can take the cases by himself without handing over them to police. Now let us revise all the concepts we have studied in this topic inquest. So inquest is, what is inquest? Inquest is a legal inquiry or investigation to ascertain the circumstances and cause of death in any sudden, suspicious or unnatural death. So these are done in sudden, suspicious and unnatural death. And these are of four types, police inquest, magistrate inquest, coroner inquest and medical examiner's inquest. Out of which these two are done in India and these two are not done in India. Coroner inquest was done in India up to 1999 but after that it was in, uh, discontinued. It was done in Mumbai only and way back in Kolkata also but that is not important. Medical examiner's inquest is most superior inquest done in UK and USA. Police inquest and magistrate inquest. Police inquest done under section 174 of CRPC. And while the magistrate inquest is done in done under 174 or 176 of CRPC. And police inquest is not done below the rank of SI sub inspector. However, SI can appoint the head constable. And the police officer doing the investigation is known as investigation officer. After Taking the case, the investigation officer first describe or give the information about the case to the magistrate and then go to the body and do the investigation, prepares the panchnama and then send the body to the nearest government hospital for the post-mortem examination with a copy of panchnama and requisition. Now the magistrate inquest is done under 176 of CRPC as I have already told you. Judicial magistrate and executive magistrate can undergo this magistrate inquest. Judicial magistrate works under high court and the executive magistrate works under the state government. Magistrate inquest is considered superior than the police inquest and the cases taken by the executive magistrate are dowry death exhumation or the mental hospital deaths etc and the judicial magistrate takes the cases in which the police is involved and this is all about the inquest magistrate can also do the investigation in cases where the police has already done the investigation but the magistrate is not satisfied or the or any other such circumstances where the government gives the orders for doing the investigation again then also magistrate do the investigation or he can also take the cases to him without handing over them to police so this is all about the investigation or the inquest if you want some other topics uh, videos on some other topics then you can message me in the comment box and i will surely make the video please like and share and subscribe thank you